In this lecture, we will discuss the initial condition in LT spice. Initial condition uh, is very important for transient simulation. The spice syntax uses dot .ic. IC is the short name for initial condition. It imposes a initial condition at time equal to zero for the simulator, such as uh, for the capacitor voltage and for the inductor current. There are quite a few benefits regarding the initial conditions. First, it can fix the uncertainties about the circuits, such as oscillators, flip-flops, oscillators and flip-flops. You can explicitly define the initial conditions in these circuits so that it can give you more predictable results. Another benefit is to reduce the calculation time so that the circuit can take much less time to reach the steady state in the transient simulation. The last one is it can make startup condition similar to the real world case. The syntax is dot .ic followed by the voltage of a node and the current of an inductor. In this example, it shows the initial voltage at label net in, out, we see a 2 volt, 5 volt, and 1.8 volt respectively. The initial current at inductor L1 is 300 milliamps. In analog circuits, energy storage elements are capacitor C and inductor L. They bring state into the circuit. They look like memories in the digital circuits. The state is defined as a condition of a circuit or a system. For example, if you have a single L or C in the circuit, this is the first order system. If you have more C or L, you can build a higher order system. For example, in a second order system, it can be a LC filter or it can be built by two castigated RC filters. States are defined based on the memory storage elements, so they are very basic building blocks in analog world. At the left hand side, we have capacitor, so it's like a voltage source because the voltage cannot change instantaneously. The energy is stored in electric field. This is a simplified diagram of a capacitor. We have a positive charge on top and a negative charge at bottom. In the middle, we have dielectrics. The capacitance is defined as the charge over voltage. By this equation, you, we can see that given the same voltage V, if you have higher capacitance C, uh, you can hold more charge. This is the schematic diagram. This is the schematic symbol, and the voltage and the current convention inside the capacitor. The, the current into the capacitor is defined is defined as C times dV over dt. By this equation, we can see that if the dV over dt is bigger, that means you have more current into the capacitor. The energy saved in capacitor is given this in this equation. Another important parameter is impedance, Z, as 1 over Sc, where S is the complex variable in frequency. S equals to J omega. Omega is the angular frequency in radius per second. By this equation, we can see as frequency goes up, when S approaches infinity, the impedance approaches zero, that means the capacitor becomes short circuit. On the other hand, if frequency becomes uh, pretty low, approaching DC, that means S approaches zero, so the impedance becomes infinity. In this case, the capacitor becomes open circuit. On the right hand side, we have inductor. The inductor is like a current source because the current cannot change instantaneously. The energy is saved in magnetic field. This is an illustration of an inductor. You can see we have four turns of windings. If, we, if you put current through the winding by right hand rule, we can build a magnetic field. The inductance equation is defined by N times d phi over di. D phi is the flux change. Di is current change. Also, the, 
the electrical model is defined here in schematic. The schematic symbol is defined here. Uh, so please remember the positive, negative, and the current signs are defined by convention. Inductor voltage VL equals to VL equals to L times DI over DT. Uh, if you have a higher current change rate, you expect to see higher voltage over your inductor. The energy saved in inductor is given the, in this equation. The impedance is defined as S times L. At low frequency, when S approaches zero, it becomes a short circuit. At high frequency, as, as frequency goes very high, S approaches infinity, the impedance becomes infinity and the inductor becomes open circuit. It's pretty high impedance at high frequency and very low impedance at, lo at low frequency. Just to recap, capacitor has very high impedance at low frequency but very low impedance at high frequency. On the other hand, we have inductor. It has very low impedance at DC low frequency but very high impedance at high frequency. However, the real world C and L have more complex models. On the left hand side, we have capacitor. We have ESR, equivalent series resistance, ESL, equivalent series inductance, and also the leakage resistance. Uh, inductor also has a more complex model. Uh, this is old fashioned model, but it works as long as the frequency of interest is well below the self-resident frequency of your inductor. You have a series resistance R and also the interwinding capacitor as a parallel capacitor. Now let me give you an example. So this is the voltage divider. We put a additional capacitor C1 1 nanofarad across R2 so that we can have a low pass filter consisting of R and C. Now let's go to LT space. I just opened the schematic for the previous case. We have a voltage divider. Now we want to add a, another component capacitor. You go to component, click, cap. Okay, so this is a capacitor. Right click to cancel. F3 is to connect a wire. So C1 is in parallel with R2. Escape to cancel the wire. So if you use mouse, right click over C to change the value, I put 1 nanofarad as capacitor. Now we can simulate the transient behavior. Before we start, we want to change the maxima time step. We delete it so that the IoT space can use variable time step. And we are ready to go. Now let's run the simulation. We can put voltage probe over V in and V sense. So this is the rest time by this RC low pass filter. By the way, if you want to change the color of the background, you can go to Tools, Color Preferences, and choose Background. And by changing the RGB values, you can make it pure white. Now let's go back to the slides. We just built a circuit as shown here. We add a capacitor C to build a RC filter. By using the 7 in theorem, we can get equivalent circuit. The 70 voltage VTH equals to R2 over R1 plus R2 times V in. The 70 resistance RTH equals to R1 in parallel with R2. So the time constant is built by RTH times C1 equals to 9 kilo ohm times 1 nanofarad gives you 9 microseconds. So if you run the simulation, you put V in and V sense here. You can see uh, by using the by using the cursor, you can find the time constant. Time constant is defined as the voltage goes to about 63% of the 
of the final value, we can see the difference between these two points is about 9 microseconds, which matches our result. Now let's go back to the simulation results. We can change the color of this trace and uh, single click you can find the cursor. So since we know the final value is 2 volt, the final value is 2 volt here, we can see the 63% of the final value is about 1.26 uh, volt. The rest time is defined as 63% of the final value. So we can see it should be around here. So now the time is around 9, nine microseconds from the starting 1 millisecond. The time difference between 1 millisecond and here is about 9 microseconds which match our result. Next, we want to add the initial condition. You can put a spice directive by click .op. So the syntax is just starting with a dot. I see V represents the voltage over V sense, V S E N. That's the net name at this point equals to 2 volt you can put it here so this is the syntax to define the initial condition now we can run the simulation again remember this initial condition at this v sense is 2 volt at the beginning when the time equals to 0 now we run the simulation we can see at the first times equal to 0, we have voltage 2 volt at V sense. And it becomes discharged through these two resistors. It will charge up again by V in, which is a voltage step. So this lecture shows you how to add the initial condition into your circuit. To common out this directive, you can just put a semicolon at the beginning, so now it becomes a comment. If you run the simulation, you can see the initial condition is deleted just by using this simple trick. Another trick I want to show you is how to save the plot setup. If you clock the plot and run the simulation, there will be nothing shown here as before because we haven't saved the setup yet. And we put V in, V sense back on, and add a Another plot plane. So now we go to plot settings. We can save plot settings in your local directory. So even you close this plot, next time you run a simulation, these settings will be loaded automatically.